Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna do something I would have never expected I would do I'm, what I'm doing is I will intentionally go into arcade and will record arcade footage Excuse me, what the fuck? And you might be saying, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Why are you, I thought you were playing realistic exclusively But the thing is Since they added the no hot mode uh, Into the game the way of playing arcade and historic has changed because now you can if you, if you turn off the hut everything will disappear like target labels the entire hut everything all ev all you will see is the little button up up in the top to turn the hut back on and the plane <laughs> but there is no target label there is no lead indicator there is nothing it basically looks like realistic so even though arcade still has arcade physics which means you will never lock up or anything it's still a lot more it's still somewhat more realistic and i think overall more enjoyable now i think it's especially good for training purposes actually for example if you if you want to get into realistic like you're new into the game you're new to the game and you want to get into realistic i think playing arcade or historic without hard is a great way to learn because you'll learn to track your enemy, but if you lose him, you can still turn the hut back on and see where he's at. Um, you can, you will be able to learn how to lead. Um, you'll be, you know, it's, it's a great way of learning actually, before you actually go into a realistic. So, to give you an idea of what it's like, I'm just gonna hop into a arcade battle. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see everything will disappear. You'll see nothing. And you don't get dots like you do in realistic. So even if you turn the hut off, you cannot see if there is anyone. Okay, now I can see the dot a little bit. Alright, let's try to track him. I don't know what he's in yet. Let's just see what we can do here. We have to look very closely. There he is. Oh my god. And now I don't really know where he went. Because you don't get dots like you do in realistic. So it's actually, if you think about it, graphic graphic wise it's it's more realistic than playing realistic actually. So I'm turning it back on and see and there he is. So I can back dive down him. Now I see him and can track him. See if I can get some shots off. Oh. So as you can see, you will, you will, you probably won't be able to play without any HUD at all, or you'll uh, possibly be a an easy target. And is there an IL ten trying to dogfight me right now? You can zoom in really far, which helps with tracking the enemy. Uh, one thing is you will probably if you're tracking it like if you have two targets you'll probably have to track who's enemy and who's friendly because you cannot just go by airplanes in arcade which is kind of a downside oh here we got a shot oh man that was cool Frick, I don't want to turn up the 109 but enough said let's get into some dog fights and kills to see what it's like
those are my reasons why I think that arcade is a bit more, yeah, more playable now. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying stop playing realistic and I'll go into arcade. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, arcade is still, the physics are still very simplified and you don't get the same experience as you get in realistic where you have to take care of your fuel, your ammo, and you have to take off and you have to land uh, if you need fuel and whatnot. Um, like I did here actually, just because I'm used to it. Um, but yeah, it, it can be funny at times, so yeah, make sure to check it out because yeah, it's not as bad as it used to be anymore if you used to know hot mode. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.